Hi Bruce from Safari and we're looking at our belt motor generator here, BMGs we call them, and uh, let's explain what they are first up. So these are 48 volt here, that's a traditional alternator over there that I'm going to use for comparison. So you can see it's roughly the same size. These here are rated over 10 kilowatts and at cruising 8 consistently and at idle they will do 3 kilowatts. High, high efficiency. The motor is 90%. The inverter on the back here is 94, so combined it's 85, so that's a 10 kilowatt inverter on the back. An alternator over there is 50 when it's hot, 60 when it's in the 60s when it's cold. So the difference in efficiency here is just incredible. I mean, that's World War II stuff over there, even if you buy a brand new one today, that's the technology. Uh, this here is the latest uh, technology with permanent magnet generators uh, used in generally automotive today. This is a double wound stator. There's actually, it's a dual three phase windings in here. And if one of them fail, the other will still perform. So there's redundancy here on the stator if need be. The life of this is expected 10 years or 8,000 hours in marine. The one over there will be nowhere near that. So these will prevent a load dump. You just cannot get a load dump. So a load dump occurs if the battery relay uh, completely opens all of a sudden and you've got spun up energy, where's that energy going to go? And the reason why you don't get a load dump on this is the response is in less than 25 milliseconds. It's just impossible to get a load dump. The next thing that it does is it protects the engine. So we are reading on here the torque and if the engine looks like it's struggling at all, so a small 30 horsepower Yanmar when it starts up, it can't deliver a lot of power we're reading the available torque coming out of the engine. We run that so that the engine is never overloaded. In a regular alternator, you've got to guess at that. Uh, it can't actually measure torque, so it's got no way of actually knowing whether it's overloading the engine. It's just uh, sheer uh, guesswork. The next thing about these is that they are fully isolated, positive and negative coming out of here. You can stick to the full galvanic isolation, but overall it's the performance, the efficiency that comes out of this, and these will both appear on the Victron Turbo as an alternator. You can see all the performance uh, stats on our app. So we have these on the stand at uh, Mets Trade. Come and have a look. This is just an absolute game changer for any marine vessel in 48 volt. I've got to say, how good's that?